The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've got a question to pose to the member who's just resumed his seat and his colleagues. Is it acceptable to them that overseas-owned banks take about $90 million a week profit from New Zealand, take it off overseas at the same time that it's estimated that 25 per cent of our dairy farmers could go under? Is that an acceptable situation? Is it acceptable that about 100,000 small businesses who are dependent on the flow-on income that they receive from dairy farmers and other farmers, is it acceptable that their livelihoods are at risk? Is that all right? Again, no answer from the National Party. Because that is what is currently being told to New Zealanders is happening in our economy. So when the official cash rate is lowered and the banks don't pass it on, Questions should be asked about the flow-on effect of that on those 100,000 small businesses and the 25% estimate of dairy farmers whose livelihoods are at risk. That's what Andrew Little and Labor was asking for, for the National Party, for John Key and the government to stand up for New Zealanders to stand up for New Zealanders and say, these are good, hard-working people. Their livelihoods are at risk because of circumstances outside their control. But the government said nothing. They should do nothing and say nothing. That is not good enough for the government of our country. We are a nation that is dependent on small businesses. We have become increasingly and foolishly, in my view, dependent on dairy farming. That was too big a risk, and now that's coming back to bite us. And the government's response is, we should, we should support the TPP, which clearly is doing nothing for dairy farming anyway. We should support changes to the resource management so that further damage can be done to our environment. Where, where is their brain? Well, that's a question I've often asked when I've listened to, the, to them during question time, and even more so during their speeches. They have completely lost touch with New Zealanders and lost any aspiration for New Zealanders for the future. I actually don't think that New Zealanders have aspirations that we should discard. I think our aspirations have always been pretty consistent. To have a home, to have a job, to have a fair society, to have safety, to have something to look forward to. Remember Norman Kirk's words? Those words are as true now as they ever were. Those aspirations form the value of New Zealand society. And it's those aspirations that are being taken away from good, hard-working New Zealanders, while the national government stands by and says, do nothing. I want a society where we do care about each other, where we do think that it's a credible aspiration and one that government should support to have a home, to have a job with a fair income, to have a safe community, to have something to look forward to. Those are the aspirations that I was brought up on and I think I had a good family that raised me, that raised my siblings. We always knew that we would have a secure home that we would have an income through my father's job and that we would have something to look forward to in the future. Work hard, get ahead. Those are the aspirations that a Labour-led government will support New Zealanders to have again. Those are the values that have formed the basis of our society. Those are the values and aspirations that have been thrown away by an arrogant and out-of-touch government led by John Key.